Hello, welcome to Spirit Cocktails. I'm your host, Pierre. Today we're doing a review on Captain Morgan's private stock. And one thing about Captain Morgan, they have tons of different spice rums. They're mainly known for spice rums. Then they had the white rum and a couple other ones come out. But they got like this one, the private stock. They got 1671. They got the sherry cask. They got tattoo. They got the lime bite. This is all different variations of spice rums. And one thing about this, this is actually more to the private stock of like Captain Morgan, something that harks back to his tradition, his type of way in making about 300 years of tradition. As it states here, it's a tribute of over 300 years of rum making tradition. This celebrated treasure has been crafted in honor of Captain's legendary pirate reserves. New combination of finest Puerto Rican, Puerto Rican rum, mellowed by warm island spices. So this is definitely going to have a lot of cinnamon notes, I'm assuming. As you say, it's never been opened. It's completely sealed. Never had before. No idea what it's going to taste like other than the fact it's a spice rum. But it's going to have more of the island spices with a nice warming sensation. And if I know from most of the other ones, it's definitely going to be pretty good. There's a couple other ones I'm going to get down the road like the Captain Morgan Black. And I would definitely want to get maybe Lime Bite. Maybe try that for here. Definitely do some reviews down the road. But this one, I saw it. 25 bucks for seven fifty. Yeah, it's a pretty cool bottle. I'll just... Definitely something when it's done, I'm going to keep the bottle and maybe just put up for like a display or something. But it's definitely something that I'm wanting to try and see how it tastes. And I've actually been looking at this for a while in stores. I just never actually got around to buying it because I had so many rums and I just figured, eh, now I figure why not just buy it. The other thing about this, this is also more of a sipping rum. This is the type of rum that you want to take, put over ice, just have it just like that. It'll be perfectly fine. Bring out some of that flavor. The moment that went in there, you can definitely see the alcohol and the sugar separating. So it's definitely something that's going to be a little bit sweeter. It's a nice lacing to it. A nice dark amber color so it's definitely gonna have most likely a lot of caramel notes some cinnamon nutmeg different hints of like your you get from that brown sugar see how it smells it's definitely sweet it has a lot of characteristics that you get with many spice rums they smell like some allspice a lot of nutmeg kind of a slight hint of like a fig Smells actually really good. Let's see how it tastes. It's very smooth. It has a ooh. It does got a little bit of burn to it, a little bit of spice. But it's definitely you can taste the cinnamon. The nutmeg, a nice caramel notes to it. The brown sugar notes you're getting out of that from the molasses. It's very sweet. It's smooth. It's, it does have a slight burn to it. It's only put like a drop of water. Really not much in there. And this is... Most spice rums are looking about 70%. Over 70 proof. This one's actually 80 proof. So this takes the idea of a spice rum, which you normally would buy and be like 35% alcohol. This is 40%, so it's a slight bit more of a kick to it in comparison to other spice rums out there. But it's definitely very flavorful. It's sweet compared to some of their other spice rums. Because one of my all-time favorites from Captain Morgan is a 1671, which I believe is still a limited edition, but you're starting to see it pretty much anywhere. Maybe it's had like an overabundance of a stock. But this one... This, to me, tastes slightly better than the 1671. I love the 1671. I love the Sherry Cast. The Sherry Cast has a little more of a sweeter notes to it. The 1671, it just has a lot more of a spice. This is sweet, spicy. It's a perfect blend of different flavors. And so you're getting all that tropical spices and different notes you're getting from, like, an aged rum. And it's Puerto Rican rum. It's definitely very flavorful. It's definitely something I'd suggest buying for... $25, you can't beat it. I mean, most people like to look at the rum that's like, say, 15 bucks, 20 bucks, and like, oh, let's just buy that because it's cheap. If 
five, ten dollars more, buy it. It's worth it. And even just the fact alone, it is a pretty cool ass bottle. So, and you won't be disappointed. You'll love this. It's, as I said, it's that good. Something like this. I mean, I may make a cocktail with it. It's like this. I love it just directly over ice. Drink it neat. You don't even have to put it in the cocktail. It's perfect just the way it is. If you ever had it, let me know what you guys think. But be sure to like us on Facebook, Consta Spirit Cocktails. Subscribe to our channel. If you have ideas for different spirits you'd like me to try out, send me. I love rum. So definitely give me suggestions on rum reviews because I would love to do them too. Hopefully something I can get a hold of. If not, I'll see if I can contact the company and see if I can get a sample or two. But, as always, drink responsibly.